so when you talk about practice okay and, and obviously you can't be a good player unless you practice but when you talk about it we are not talking about blindly memorizing the keys or the combinations of these major skills because see if you do that you'll be memorizing for the rest of your life every day and if you skip and if you stop you forget right so it doesn't mean memorizing the c major scale and c sharp major scale and d major scale and d sharp major scale blindly okay because there are 12 major scales and you will be memorizing 12 different kinds of key combinations and there's no need to do that there exists a pattern which gives you the understanding of these keys and relationships of a sound and that is where theory comes in it will allow you to see these patterns in everything that you do and everything that you play so instead of memorizing try to familiarize yourself with the concepts so it becomes easier to understand what you are doing so for example if i want to do something on the b major scale so just simply knowing the notes is not enough i want to familiarize myself with the basic triads or the seventh harmonies of the scale I want to be able to add more notes to these simple chords and I want to be able to decide what to add so it sounds good and not boring to actually understand how it works